I'm Evan James and I am a 2021 CSA artist. I've been a CSA member for many years and um, started this hobby in 2018, started kind of getting into wood turning then and it's been something that I just kind of has grown to be more of an obsession than a than a hobby and mm -hmm. uh, we recently just added onto our garage and I got to build this workshop as part of our garage and um, so it's been been a, a great opportunity to now have a space that I can that I can come get up at five o'clock in the morning if I feel like it and come out here and work mm -hmm. until the sun comes up we were kind of going crazy stir crazy during the pandemic and um, so we found a contractor that could fit us in last year and um, we finished it in uh, in December and so then I've had basically had the whole winter to, to work out here in the, in, the, in the shop in this new workspace and mm -hmm. um, couldn't be couldn't be happier and my first project was really uh, creating all of the pieces for the CSA so it's been cool been yeah it's been a lot of fun to make a like an indent into the bottom of the bowl all right. so that then I can take this piece of wood off of that chuck that it's on now and use this piece uh, I'll just show you <laughs> For the CSA, I, th I really one of my goals as a as a an artist or a craftsperson is to be as kind to the environment as I can. So all of the wood for the CSA came from right here in Fargo. It's all what we call urban salvage. There's mm -hmm. a, a company here in town that takes all the, the logs from the city and um, uh, takes them to him. He mills them uh, on a big a big saw mill. He has a kiln. He dries the wood. And then I uh, I bought two giant slabs of American elm, um, and then I cut those down into smaller pieces. So this very likely could have been a tree in somebody's boulevard, uh, one of our uh, shareholders. It's pretty yeah. pretty amazing. You said all of them except one. Yeah. Right, um, are you allowed to say? Yeah, I, I can. I can say. <laughs> if you've opened your boxes, you will see all of the pieces have a medallion at the bottom that has mm -hmm. um, has CSA Arts Partnership, my oh. name, my initials, and they're all numbered. So number forty-two is the only one um, that is not American Elm, and it's a piece of box elder, which is again from right here in in, in town, but. All of my pieces of American Elm started cracking. Like mm. you can see this, and like the one that I that I just turned that I showed you, um, and uh, it becomes just a real challenge to make those cracked pieces work. Um, there's ways that you can can do it, but I wanted to make these as kind of um, as simple but as elegant as I could. Got little imperfections in the wood to tell me if I want to, you know, leave them in, take them out. Mm -hmm. So like this piece of wood is cracked. You can tell this crack would probably go from here, and it's on this side of the wood too, mm. which adds its own level of uh, <laughs> of complexity in terms of how to how to deal with it. Yeah. A lot of people would fill the cracks with with an epoxy or something like that. I did use um, some uh, black CA glue on some of the pieces, but um, to to kind of fill in some of those cracks. But I got to the point where the wood that I had left was really cracky and was causing me lots of issues. So okay. I finally just decided for my sanity, I should probably just use one piece of box elder that I had been holding on to. Um, so yeah, number 42 is so, so whoever has 42 gets the one unique piece. It's box elder and all the rest are uh, American Elm. And how do you make a piece finish then? What's the finishing touch to it? Yeah, so I use uh, lots of Lots of sandpaper. So as the as the piece is turning on the lathe, I'll use sandpaper by hand. Um, uh, you know, I go from 80 grit all the way up to 400 grit, and then I use a, a, a product that's a, called an abrasive paste. It's a, it's a mixture of um, mineral wax, beeswax, um, carnauba wax, 
and then it has pumice in it, so it has mm -hmm. actual an abrasive in it, yeah. and that kind of does the fine, fine sanding to make the pieces really smooth. Mm -hmm. I finish that, and then I, they're all come, all of them are finished in walnut oil, so it's a food safe, mm -hmm. natural product. They don't use any shellac or uh, lacquer or anything like that, which a lot of people finish their, and that's why they all have kind of that more. Um, uh, uh, satiny finish it's mm -hmm. not really glossy yeah. um so that's and, and i prefer that again because it's natural and it's rustic it's rustic and well and yeah and, and honestly if anybody chose to eat out of their bowls that that they got in their in their share mm -hmm. they could they could it's it's right. it's safe that's food cool. safe so um so anyway that's well thank you very much i'm excited for the csa yeah a lot. awesome